Good afternoon everyone. Today we are doing stone scenarios in our urology FRCS exam preparation series. Thank you for the trainee who has agreed to record this session so that it will be a good revision source. Your first scenario time starts now. You have a 25 year old lady presents with history of left sided loin pain. How are you going to evaluate? Okay. So I'll, I'll see this patient um, urgently, take a history, examine the patient, and I'll arrange some tests. Um, in my history, I'll establish the duration of pain, um, consistency, and the character of the pain. If there's any associated um, hematuria or fever or recurrent, ur lower urine uh, recurrent urinary tract infections, um, I'll ask about previous stone episodes um, any family history of stones, if they've had any interventions from st for, for stones before. Um, I'll ask about risk factors for recurrent stone formations, um, such as age at first presentation, um, not anatomical problems like horseshoe kidney or huge obstruction, um, or indeed any metabolic problems like hyperparathyroidism. I'll document their past medical history, um, drug history, including anticoagulation status, um, I will then offer a chaperone and examine this patient, fill in the abdomen and flank for any tenderness. I'll document their observations as well, looking for any fever. Um, and I will also arrange some tests, including urine dip, um, plus or minus culture, um, food blood count using his calcium, uric acid levels. Um, and in view of the history of flank pain, I will organize uh, a CTKUB after documenting a negative pregnancy test for this lady. Okay. Her um, urine dipstick shows uh, 1 plus RBC and uh, 3 plus leukocytes, no nitrates. Blitz were normal. Anything you want to do? So I'll, I'll confirm my suspicion of uh, a renal colic with a CTKUB, non contrast. Okay. I will share the pictures now. Thank you. Okay, can you see now? Okay, so... Okay. So this is the CTKUB you asked for. I will okay. scroll through from top to bottom so that uh, you can dictate as you see. Okay. So axial CT um, of the abdomen, scrolling down, there's some fullness on the left kidney with um, dilated ureter, per perioteric stranding, um, following, in, following the ureter, left ureter down, um, which demonstrates some fullness. All the way down to the pelvis. Okay, and there is evidence of a, a distal ureteric stone on the left side. I will need to measure this to confirm the size, as well as uh, the Hounsfield unit of the stone. Okay, the size of the stone is 6 millimeter, and Hounsfield unit is uh, 950 HU. Okay, so this is a, a 6 millimeter distal ureteric stone um, on the left side. Um, with upstream dilatation. So I will confirm the patient's observations, um, check their pain um, status, administer analgesia, um, and await the results of the, the food block count and using it to decide on the best management option moving forward. Okay, her full blood count using is were normal. And what kind of analgesia you are going to plan for her? So for this lady, um, I will give a PR diclofenac, 100 milligrams, um, as well as paracetamol to try and control her pain. Okay, if PR diclofenac is not helpful, what is your next choice? So I will administer some um, Oromoff, oral opiate, to try and help um, control her pain as well. Why PR diclofenac? 
Oh, okay, so if PR diclofenac is not available, I could give them oral oral diclofenac or, or indeed any oral non-steroidal um, first um, after excluding the contraindications of um, severe asthma or um, gastric ulcers. Okay, why are you planning for PR diclofenac rather than oral? What is the advantage? So uh, PR diclofenac um, bypasses the uh, first pass effect and um, it, it's very effective in controlling um, renal colic pain. But if, if it's not available, I can also give um, oral diclofenac. Okay, her pain settles down. What is your next steps? So with um, control of pain in the absence of a fever and, and normal blood, I will discuss management option of this lower ureteric stone um, with this patient. I'll discuss uh, options including conservative um, versus um, primary ureteroscopy versus ureteric stent or nephrostomy. Um, however, my preferred option, if the patient is in agreement, will be to manage this conservatively as a, a distal ureteric stone of that size has a high likelihood of passing spontaneously. Okay, so what is your criteria for selecting a patient for conservative management? So my criteria will be um, the stone size, which is six millimeters, a distal ureteric stone, um, normal blood, absence of any features of infection. So this would all be in favor of um, conservative management. Okay. So, how are you going to explain this to her? So, I'll explain to the patient that um, I will need to, we will look at her scalp film to see if this stone is visible, of which if it's visible, I will arrange a follow-up for her um, in about two to four weeks' time with an X-ray KUB um, on arrival to check that the stone has passed. Um, I will advise her that she may feel some pain in this period. Um, she will be discharged with some analgesia. Um, and the safety netting advice would be to return to a &E, um, as quickly as possible if she develops a fever or if her pain is not settling with analgesia. And this would be indications to, to re-attend hospital. Um, I'll warn her that there's also a chance that the stone doesn't pass when we we'll see her back, in which case we will be um, advising for um, an intervention at that point okay so you are seeing her in three to four weeks time and uh, you are doing an x-ray kub which shows persistence of stones she has on and off pain but maintaining well with painkillers so i will um, explain to the patient that at this point um, the stone is not passed i will repeat her bloods to see um, how her kidney function is doing um, at this point, but given that three to four weeks has passed and, and the stone is still there, I will rediscuss management options, but I will be um, inclined to offering intervention at this point to try and um, treat the stone in the form of a primary uteroscopy or, or a shock with lithotripsy. Okay. How will you explain this to her? If you are giving shock with lithotripsy, what is your protocol? So, I'll explain to her that shock with lithotripsy, um, I'll explain the, the procedure, um, alternatives, risks, benefits, and I'll aid my counseling with a, a bowel information leaflet. I'll explain that this involves administering shock wave to fragment the stone, um, which will then be passed naturally. Um, this is usually covered with analgesia. Um, I'll explain that the risks include infection, bleeding, um, failure to fragment the stone, um, risk of um, fragments being stuck, in which case she will require um, a further procedure in the form of a ureteroscopy or a stent. Um, but I'll explain to her that there is a high likelihood that this uh, will be successful. Uh, the alternatives will be ureteroscopy, um, and so I'll go through the, the, the counseling in this format, 
and asked her to um, sign an inf sign a, a consent form if she's in agreement. Okay. So if you are planning for uteroscopy and um, on the day when she comes for the surgery, she is signed, consented, prepared, general anesthesia, everything is in place. What is your steps? How are you planned for the surgery? Okay. So in an appropriately consented uh, anesthetized patient, um, WHO okay. check is done. We'll stop there, Emika. It's time now. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Good presentation. No concerns. Straightforward scenario. We started very simply. Um, communication and knowledge and delivering the knowledge all are very optimal level. I'm very happy with that. Uh, Thank you. Few things which we can need to concentrate is uh, medical expulsive therapy. Uh, you haven't yeah. highlighted it that much. You haven't brought the tamsulosin. I thought that's haven't a, actually. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's a very good opportunity to bring you the mimic trial, suspend trial, yeah. and a few trials to get the ball rolling. And uh, you know about the recent, uh, not very recent, uh, 2019 NICE guidelines. So I thought you will bring the NICE guidelines at two, three places. Uh, yeah. That will make your presentation from the region of seven to eight easily. Yeah. And uh, the other minor concern is if you see 2019 NICE guidelines, the painkiller protocol is per rectal diclofenac 100 milligram we can give even once or twice a day usually it's 50 milligram three times a day so you can easily okay. give at least two times maybe in a day yeah and if they are not responding the second choice is iv paracetamol yes and if uh, iv paracetamol is not working the third choice is the opioids so you have been brought yeah. the iv paracetamol to picture you said oral paracetamol yeah and um, in the history, you missed the occupational history. We need to make sure that, uh, especially in men, there may be an occupational history of a pilot yeah. or a lorry driver or maybe yeah. um, in the army and in a woman, again, she may be in the army. So that is important. Um, yeah. Urine dipstick, there is no signs of any infection. I think you've done well with that. Pilot CT image is very important. That's what will dictate whether when she comes next time, whether we can depend on the X-ray KUB or not. Yeah. Read a little bit about the role of ESWL in lower urethric stone because it is not very straightforward. Uh, normally we do in supine position for the renal stones. As the stone gets into the lower ureter, patient may need a prone position so that the shock waves nicely reach the VUJ because VUJ is yeah. much more anterior compared to the kidney in the anteroposterior surgical pictures. And yeah. there is also a technique where we can keep the patient supine itself and using a gluteal window. Uh, if you are discussing ESWL, which is correct because nice guideline says ureteric stones up to 10 millimeter ESWL slash ureteroscopy. But you should mm. know what is the challenge in doing ESWL for a lower ureteric stone. Yeah. Okay. You have any questions? No, thanks. Thanks. It was the MET was um, an important one that I missed out. So yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Okay. It happens.